All right, guys, what's up? This is Cody Fair with Fair for Freedom Vlogs. And uh, I hope you guys have been enjoying watching our family videos. As you might remember uh, from previous videos, uh, we just recently added the, uh, a little more clarity there, added the Mavic to our uh, family here. So we're looking forward to adding some awesome uh, new types of video to our vlogs, make it a little more fun to watch, definitely more fun to make. Um, and so today I'm gonna do my first flight. And again, it's been so crazy out there. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see here. You know, it's just, uh, it's nasty out there. I mean, it's just been like pouring. I can't wait any longer. I have to fly this thing. So I'm gonna fly it in the house, uh, not move it around very much. Just kind of put it up, put it down. Just kind of see uh, how this whole thing works. Um, I have a big space in my house. You know, there's, there, it's like a kind of a great room area. There's no real wall, I and mean, the walls are pretty far away, so I got a lot of room to kind of mess up here. Um, you know, might hit, might hit a couch or something. But other than that, you know, nothing, nothing too dangerous. No TVs down here. Um, nothing to really hurt. So um, I'm gonna give it a try and just kind of see what happens. Now my plan is to, as soon as I launch it, to put it into tripod mode, you know, safe fly mode, so that I can uh, not make any sudden moves and screw it up. So, so here we go. So first of all here, I'm gonna get it out of my little bag here. So uh, first up, take out the Mavic. Just like that, okay. Set that puppy down, okay. And uh, take that off. Uh, next up, the controller. Take off my little joystick guard. Finally called it the right thing. Okay, put that there like that. So one more thing. And then my iPhone 7 Plus. Now these are the three things I use, or the, the phone I use. Um, I've heard a lot of people have issues with Androids, but uh, absolutely no issues. You know, with the you know one time I plugged it into the remote uh, with mine, but I've heard people are not having bad luck with the iPhone. So uh, just getting things fired up here. I'm gonna leave the gimbal guard on. Why not? Uh, I'm not exactly going out to take good shots. I'm flying it inside, so safety first when it comes to this bad boy at first. So. First step, pull out the top arms. Okay, next, fold out the bottom. Check the battery, make sure it's full. Okay, good to go. Set that there. Setting up the remote, unfold these here. Okay, my little doohank always comes out because uh, it sticks so hard into the iPhone. So, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take this, I'm going to Stick that into the iPhone there. And then from there, I'm gonna take it and um, push it into the spot where it goes back here. There we go. So that just kind of looks like, like that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there's this little slider deal here that's supposed to hold this, uh, the cord. And so it just kind of slides it in there. Then to come over to this side here, put it in position, lock it in. Then I just kind of take it like this and push it tight like that. So it's nice, firm grip on there and I mean it's it's not going anywhere that thing is it's locked in solid okay next pull up the propellers or propellers antennas like that tilt them back just a little bit get them out of your way and you're good to go get to start setting. okay so first things first um, power up the remote tap once tap again to hold first time you tap what it does is uh, it tells you how much batteries in there's so now it says connect it's waiting for me to connect go over here to the Mavic press once press again to hold Fires that up. Make sure you're facing the Mavic, okay? You want that to be between these two if possible to get the best connection, especially when you're updating it. And uh, I already made one mistake right now, I'll tell you what it is. Um, you should always take off the gimbal supporter uh, when you do that. And the best way to do that is to face it down so the Mavics have the way and pull this out from the back. See, if you don't, if you don't take this off before you do this initial calibration like that, the, mat, the, the uh, gimbal can't move to do its calibration. So now it's gonna do it um, the way it should have done it the first time, but because it's poor owner, inexperienced owner screwed up, it had to do it again. So put that back on there and we'll be good to go. Okay. And this is not an advice video, this is just me firing this thing up the first time. I will eventually get good at this and have more information to show. Um, so firing up, the remote, put in my password. Okay, get into my app here. I'm not showing you too much here. Okay, so now I get into the app. Wait for that to load there. I'm gonna go enter device. 
There we go. Okay, so now it's connected. I at first it was saying disconnected up here, and uh, I didn't know what was wrong. I, of course, I don't know much about this thing yet. But what I ended up doing was uh, turning the controller off and back on, and it connected. So I think I must have just done something in the wrong combination. But uh, anyway, it says ready to fly. It says we're ready to go. I got an awesome picture there. It's got this auto focusing on automatically. I think that's part of the new update um, on there. And so, a um, couple things about the remote. This is kind of cool right here. I mean, it just kind of shows you where you're at right now. A little map view. You tap back on this to go back to the actual camera view. And you got your deal up here saying that, you know, what's within three feet definitely is uh, something in the way. Um, so, let's go launch this thing off and, uh, you know, fly around a little bit and see how it goes. And I'm going to also use the um, auto launch option. So, just tap that right there. Slide to launch. See, it can see me there, and it's saying obstacle. And right here, it's lighting up, flashing at me, saying there's something in the way. That's pretty cool. All right, so now I'm gonna go and put it into uh, tripod mode. So I'm just gonna tap over here, tap on tripod, hit okay. And we're up in tripod mode. See how it did that right there? When I flew it over the couch, it automatically went up because the bottom sensors sensed it on. So watch that again. I'm going to go over top and it's going to automatically bump up to make sure that it keeps above the ground. That's pretty cool. Let's try that sensor coming right at me here. Let's see how it works with automatic stopping. There it goes. It just stopped it automatically right there in front of me. Back it up here. Well guys, so there you have it. My very first flight with my Mavic Pro. It was better than anything I could imagine. The forward sensors just just incredible. I mean just how still it was in the air. I mean it was I mean you saw those videos. It, it looked like someone was standing there on a tripod with a camera. Um, it, but it was this thing hovering in the air on tripod mode. Absolutely phenomenal. How it just over the couch like that when it went over the couch was just awesome. Uh, it makes you really trust that when you're when it's having it follow you over a different terrain that it's not going to hit the ground, but it's going to know and it's going to continually keep pace with the ground. Uh, I can't wait to get this thing outside tomorrow. I'm going to get outside and do an outside video. It's supposed to be decent weather tomorrow. 
So I'm gonna get out there and do that. But I was flying inside. It was very, very easy to fly it indoors. No problem. I did auto launch. I did launch on my own. Uh, no big deal. Um, and it just handled very easily. Never had a single close call. Um, took it very slow. Didn't take any risks with it, of course. Um, but uh, that's our that's my first flight, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please remember to subscribe to our family vlog. Um, you know, Fair for Freedom vlogs. We're going to be using this bad boy in almost every vlog that I can think of a, a way to use it. Uh, with our kids and our, our, all of our little adventures that we do. So please make sure to subscribe. Also hit that like, bu like button at the bottom of the screen here and make sure to subscribe. Um, appreciate all your support. We'll see you guys next time.